Rebecca Jones. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, now Corona's a Dulce because I'm gonna give you a tour about the Dulce um, top tourist attraction. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you. Okay, so Delft is a historical town bordered by canals and a, a home to a lot for market squares, churches, and all preserved houses. And Delft also is a birthplace of a famous painter, Jan Vermeer, famous scientist, um, Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, who invented a microscope and also the uh, former seat of the Orange Royal House, also known as the Prince William of Orange. Bakit orange ang apelido nyo? Pwede namang apple. Wale. <laughs> okay, so this is the old church or the Odi Kirk in a city of Delft. It is a Gothic Protestant church the oldest church in the city of Delft. It is known for the locals here as Old Jan and it was built in 200s and it draws attention because it is a slightly leaning tower so it's just like the leaning tower of Pisa in Italy and it leans because the stones of the tower were too heavy Kasi nga, nakabuild siya by the canal. Kaya yung foundation niya hindi ganun ka-stable. And the, in the past, the people feared that it might collapse. And Jan Vermeer, the famous painter, and Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, the famous scientist, were buried here in that church. Ah, di sad mo kasi due to the COVID, so we cannot go inside. I wish we can go inside para naman makita natin how it looks like yung mga design, mga ganun. It's interesting sana. But anyway, that is the old church or the old kirk in the city of Delft. Tada! That is the Prinsenhof Museum. One of the most attractive tourist attraction in the corner of Delft. So, in 1400s, it was started as the Saint Agatha Monastery, one of the biggest and richest monastery in the city of Delft. And after the Reformation, it was divided in uh, different parts. The other parts of the chapel stayed as a religious area, while the other parts uh, stayed as a house of the nuns. So. Prince Van, I, Prince William Van Orange often stayed here and ever since it was called as the Prince of, or the Prince Court, his residence. And it was here that he was killed. And in the center of the courtyard, right there, is the one who killed Prince William Van Orange. And his name is Balthasar Girards. Interesting fact. <laughs> so, this is the Prince of Missio in the city of Delft. Uh, okay, so as you can see by me, that is what I always look forward to. <laughs> okay, so behind me, that is my favorite here in the Netherlands, the windmill. So, ang pangalan ng windmill na yan is Molen de Rose or the Rose Windmill. So, back in the days, there were 18 windmills spinning in the city of Delft, but now, isa na lang, and that is the Molen de Rose. Um, since 1679, this Molen de Rose grinds organic grain of uh, into flour using the power of wind and this is the last remaining windmill in the city of Delft and uh, if you can see the flag over there it's red so that means we can't go inside due to the corona but when the flag is blue that's the time we can visit and go inside this windmill and uh, see the process 
Um, so this windmill is open to the public since September 2013, you know, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But since it's Sunday, was COVID, so it's not possible to go inside. And this is still uh, uh, in use until now. And uh, you can buy a freshly made flour inside there. And uh, yeah, that is the last remaining windmill in the city of Delft, Molen Derns. Hmm. Oh, cute, nya do. Parang parang nasa poster shot sa da. This is the new church or the new kirk in the city of Delft. It is one of the most special, unique distinctive monuments in the city of Delft. It is located in the Delft Market Square, opposite to this building, the Delft City Hall, which we're gonna feature later. And... It is a Protestant church, uh, the tallest building in the city of Delft, and second tallest church tower in the Netherlands. So Prince Van, uh, Prince William Van Orange is buried here, and he has a grand mausoleum in that building, and the other 45 members of Orange family and the House of Orange Nassau family were also buried here. So this church here serves as a burial site of the Dutch royal. So if you belong to that royal family, pwede ka dito magpalibi. Itong building na to, opposite sa new church is the Delft City Hall. So we're gonna go that building. Doon tayo para makita natin yung buong building ng Delft City Hall and it's really beautiful. This is what I told you, the City Hall of Delft. So it is popular for civic wedding ceremonies. So baby, alam mo na, tayo kakasana. Ano? Anyway, this was designed by Hendrik Kieser in between 1565 to 1621. Perfectly balanced and virtually symmetrical building in the Renaissance style. Interesting. So, Dave Kieser is considered as one of the most popular architect in his time and he left two architectural landmarks in the city of Delft, the new church and the city of Delft. Check out! Crowded kayo siya. Nagulay ko. Feed no?